Hey guys, Rudrake here, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. Last time, we got in from the crazy night at the concert, and we walked around Chloe's house, watched her get high, watched her try to find her phone, and Joyce is yelling at us to come down. Let's see how this goes over. Probably not gonna go well. Coming, Mom. <laughs> Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. <laughs> Dining table, here I come. But of course, we're gonna walk around and look. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Eh, we'll see. David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. Pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. You never saw the condoms. Uh, I wish I, I wish I didn't now. Although it was really funny to see Chloe's reaction to that. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Oh, there's something in the trash. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Ooh. Well, oh, we've got that Any option. From Blackwell is never good. I have a feeling you is Mom having trouble with payments again. My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Oh, are we gonna go to uh, Blackwell's, Chloe? That's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, there's something here. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? Oh my god, Chloe, the pirate puns. Never looked back. Eh. You know, eventually, what the? Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. I don't remember either. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an 8th grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Eesh, that's kind of harsh. Wilted plant. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really. What is this? And Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Uh. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Oh, great. Oh, so that explains the... Real reason she can't, uh, stand David. Okay, I was an ashtray. Made that for mom in an art class when I was, like, five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. <laughs> hey, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Yeah. Uh, man, she's getting angsty as all crap. Um, I'm assuming... Oh, Snowdo. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Let's shake it up. Okay, that's a little too much, Chloe. Little well, dude's like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chloe. Ugh. There's a purse there. Oh, there's a newspaper. Mom's purse? Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. Oh, okay. The, let's see. Shipyard closing. Though real estate agent developer Sean Prescott, hmm, promised that employee layoffs would be minimal when he purchased the shipyard. He announced this week that he would be ending operations effective immediately. In a move not surprising to longtime residents of the region, the Prescott Foundation also liquidated the Arcadia Bay Stevedores, Asso Stevedores Association's defined pension plan. Uh, whatever staff attorney for the foundation defended the action is our right in recouping unrecovered losses against debt owed. Sean cannot be reached for comment, of course Why not. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? A wildfire warning. This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. <laughs> Thank you. Also, <laughs> Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. 
Oh man, tuition hike. Let me be let me be empathetic. This is not due to financial woes, bull. Uh, after survey of the tuitions of prestigious academias, of oh, we are simply keeping ourselves competitive. Why while parents invest in their children, not in their vacation homes? <sighs> wow. <laughs> I was further emphasized that in addition to merit-based tuitions, this year won by sophomore Stella Hill and Brooke Scott. Hey, the school the school's program of need-based scholarships remains in place for students who maintain exceptional exceptional academic rewards. I cannot read today. Um, swear jar. Dad told swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. That's kind of sad. Hi, Mom. Oh. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that... When your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Eh, How well. can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Guys, you're pot Chloe. Roast? Mom hates pot roast. That's kind of funny. Let's set the purse down for... Well, let's see if we can talk to Joyce first. Joyce Price, a.k.a. Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Oh, I, I figured that was what was going to happen, but... Okay, let's set the purse down. Chloe, I don't have all day. We <laughs> get over here already. I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Okay, what do we do, Joyce? Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? Oh, crap. It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. Well, this door said some bad when things to me. I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Mmm. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you want? I to like talk Joyce, about? so. What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Uh Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse, then? Uh... David. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Yep. Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. <laughs> He's a real yeah. She's a dickhole! dickhole. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but it was pot roast. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. Nah. Well, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? School. Ah, right. Tickle. <laughs> My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. Wow. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Right now that. Fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just grab something later. Oh, come on. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? Meh. <laughs> I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of the Uh oh, we got caught. <laughs> Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? We got caught. We got caught. I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But, Mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. As Jeez. Again, if you're happy doing what you're doing, fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. 
Money's tight enough as it is. Uh, I don't know what a good answer here is. Crap. This is a tough choice. Yeah, let's see this. Probably not going to be. David should start paying rent. I knew this was going to happen. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Oosh. Oh, this, there is no good choice at all during this. Oh, She's angsty about this. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes... We need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute Ooh. wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times, too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. Yep. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? Well... <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Uh... Crap. And this is a big decision, too. You know what? Let's just try. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Nah, she doesn't believe Come that. The world. Yep. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. I knew it. looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You, too. <laughs> Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Well... We're stuck with it, and I have a feeling we would have done that anyway. I made my decision. I'm going to stick to it, so. <laughs> that face. Oh. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. Yeah, we've looked at everything in here, too, so. All right. Out we go. Oh, this is, this, this is going to be funny. Oh. Hey, is this cool? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Oh, this is someone new that we don't know. Let's leave. Oh, this is... I, I cannot wait for this. I cannot... Oh, God. <laughs> uh. What a piece of crap. What? The car, too. I knew it! <laughs> I, knew, I know Chloe's humor too well. Uh. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. Uh -uh. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. I knew it. Why did he point like that? Like, what the crap, man? Is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, uh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. 
It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. And he complained about waiting on us. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Now let's see what she has to say about this. Penis in all of our Katie Bay. <laughs> I knew it. I absolutely knew it. What are you just standing What's there for? doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? I guess he is, Chloe. I, I would guess that he is. Oh, we can't go in there. Let's see here. A fire extinguisher. That might come in handy. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Wow. Damn. Wow, Chloe. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Yeah, we probably should. Oh, there's a camera. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? And there's a box of William's stuff. Uh -oh. Mom's been cleaning again. And there's this. This is a photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. <laughs> it is a big mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Hey, it's a toolbox. toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. There's some stuff here. chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? <laughs> Asking for a friend. God, Chloe! <laughs> By uh. toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself? <laughs> wow, Chloe is the most savage person I think ever even know what to take okay good 50, 50 to... chance I smash him in the face with this 60 40 maybe 90 10 you're not gonna smash him in the face because if you do I'm gonna restart the game and make some different choices but wait what <laughs> of course we're going to in my garage it gets my special treatment what are we gonna what write message does David really need to hear Intruder, box of dicks! <laughs> of course. Of course. Box of dicks. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> okay, I might have to censor that. <laughs> but even if I do, you'll probably know what it is. Oh, good grief. I got the achievement, though. I don't care. Hey, David, look what I got. I don't even want to talk to you. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. <laughs> you can say thank you. I love how Chloe's like, no. Okay, fine. And now she's just awkwardly standing there as he fixes something, and she's like, all right, can we go? See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. Unless you know, she does know. You could actually be good at this. If you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. Alright. He's a bit different than he was in Life is Strange. Well, lots of awkward silence here. Let's try. Fine. Whatever. I figure might as well. He tr he's trying at this point, I guess. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> yep. I already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Also, that at the bottom is like... Uh, no, that's auto-saving. Duh. It's popping up a lot. Roll. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Knew it. Fuck. We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. 
So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Oh, joy. <sighs> Shut it down. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Wow. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Language. Shimapel don't give a shit. <laughs> You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Uh. I don't think I'm smart. I just think you're stupid. Because, obviously. Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? I can crap bigger than you. Thought I smelled crap. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. Mm. You... Your mother... Breaking her heart. Uh. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? Jeez. in the army. You will respect me. <sighs> You're not my father. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet Crap. as my father. My job is to make sure you... And your mother have a safe and peaceful home. Yeah, you have Welcome no job. To your place of employment and... Oh, that's right. You don't have one. If you were a man, it's I... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Jeez. That was a little savage, but I kind of felt oh, like having God, one. They're trying. Mission accomplished. I'm sure this will have all the uh, consequences but I was like you know what no this <sighs> yeah I, I had to let Chloe have a moment I guess I guess we passed out on the way here which is fine with me country music what the dad loved this song Aww. Oh, copyrighted music. This is probably going to get this video flagged, but most of the Life is Strange was as well. This is such a good moment, though, to what see her, like, enjoying. Today. Socket wrench. I know what a spark plug does. Your body. Yeah. There's a purse. This... This isn't right. Wait, what the... Um, can we look at anything else? No, let's just talk to Dad, I guess. Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Eh, but she's not, so... Dad, turn it up. <laughs> oh, it's such a cool scene. Also, I really love that, that shirt. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I was afraid that was going to happen. I really was. Ah, oh, I knew it, too. Like, when she looked and saw the pictures in the purse, I was like, ah, oh, I knew that was going to happen. Just was hoping it wouldn't. Hey. Oh. What the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're going to be late. Thank you, I guess. Thanks. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. Oh, great. He's already... Born everything. <laughs> oh, these two. These two. They have a lot of development they need. Oh, well. Oh, black hell. <laughs> oh, how did I know? It will mess you up, the Tempest. Oh, it must be the theater play that got going on here. This would be interesting seeing Chloe at Blackwell as an actual student. Huh. This, uh, future needs excellence. Jeremiah Blackwell, that must be the founder. I think maybe that was in a book in the first game. I just don't remember. 
I'm assuming that's where the production will be, or they're setting it up, or they're tearing it down one, one way or the other. Still pretty cool, though. There's a guy right there. Oh, that's hey, Elliot. Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. That's <laughs> true, then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Oh, they people are. Eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, oh. how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. Sweet. Oh, it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Uh, I mean, this is her boyfriend, so maybe. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? <laughs> hey, don't make fun of the drama kids. Tell me what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Weird relationship they have going on here. Elliot, he's very unsure of himself, I see, and a little insecure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Yes, we do, but we will save that for next episode. Join me next time for more Life is Strange Before the Storm. Rudrake out. <laughs>